Hello everyone, all my customers and new customers. I'm Sebastian, as you guys know, the guy that cuts all the fur babies. Um, I do have this little fur baby that's waiting to get picked up. She must have matted, so really matted. Um, so let's move on with this. The reason I'm making this video, as you all guys know, I love English Bulldogs. I'm in love with that breed. I own an English Bulldog myself. Actually, he just passed away, but I had him since he was baby newborn. I used to breed English Bulldogs. Once I saw the breed, I fell in love with the breed, but I did not know all the complications that a Bulldog has and things that you have to do to groom them so that you can avoid any allergies or anything like that. Um, so I do have two different types of groomings that I do for English Bulldogs. And this also includes, like I said, English Bulldogs, Pocket Bullies, French Bulldogs, Bull Terriers, Sharpay, Bull Mastiffs, Great Things, Hound Dogs, Basset Hound Dogs, um, all those uh, breeds that you know that require not just a bath. Uh, we all think that you just bathe the dog and that's it. No, it comes with a lot of other things. You know, you gotta do their nails, make sure you shave the bottom of the pads. They can't get infected as we don't know how much uh, dirt they carry. They can get cut as that's their shoe. So you may gotta make sure you have all those things cleaned up to avoid any fungus or anything. Um, so like I tell you, for a full, full breed, um, for a full basic group, for a full grooming, for the breeds that I just mentioned to you, I do have a, a thing that I follow and that I use that even on my boys so that I can avoid anything like that. Um, so what I do is we have this that we spray on, on the paws to avoid any fungal because English Bulldogs, like I tell you, they do get fungus. If you notice that yellow thing under the paws, that's a fungus that's starting or an allergy that's starting up already. You can use this to avoid. I also have this list right here and it goes down like this and it just is what I do is it's an ointment that I use on the paws, on the wrinkles, on anything that does not carry fur. Um, it helps out. Sometimes you see bulldogs and they have that crusty thing. It's, it's an allergy that's starting or an infection because it was dirty and the wrinkles, they're always, that's where they hold all, every time they eat, everything goes in those wrinkles. I also have this other ointment that I will be using also for the wrinkles. It's called the wrinkle paste. That's something that you use to avoid getting all those stains that they get or that foul smell, that yeast that they have in there because you need to clean that every day and make sure that it's drying also as well. That's something that you have to do at home every time he's done eating, she or he, clean, that, clean those wrinkles. Um, I also have this eye ointment that I use also on the eyes. And I actually add that sometimes before or after, depending on how the eyes look. This, something like this is good to use on a daily thing. It avoids from getting, like I said, those tear stains, uh, those tears that just keep on coming down because they have such big round eyes or it could be that they had um, a cherry eye or anything this right here it cleans out the eye and it helps you in the future as well then I also have this this right here is only for when they have cuts scrapes already an allergy I like to add that in there and it helps them out to heal that little part right there I also have this sunscreen for English Bulldogs, some of you like to, you know, just add that. You have dog shows, anything like that. Sunscreen is really good for them, and it's also good for hairless cats or hairless dogs. Um, so this is the whole, this is what a full grooming is for those breeds that I showed you. So I'd be having two sets, the basic grooming and then the full grooming. Basic grooming is just everything that we already do. We bathe them, we do the pads, sanitary, clean your ear, brush their teeth. But all that extra stuff, that's what you call full grooming. Thank you. Like I said, I love all English Bulldogs. Bring them over to me. They make me happy. Love you all. Hopefully this will also help you guys. So if you guys want to, you know, forget the groomer I want to do at home, it's very easy. And I can also show you how to work on that so you can avoid anything like that. Thank you. Love you all.